Think about it, you tensioning your whole drum by one knob, basically the bottom and the top. I just give it a little crank. Really well tuned, and I think it extends the, uh, the uh, pitch range of the drum. You can get a lot lower than you might be able to do, like with still a good tone. Um, with this system, you know, we thought we thought that having a some of this black walnut wood that we 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 uh, sawed up would be a very great representation of kind of the class that I feel like that's available for this. You know, I had a really nice black walnut tree that we sawed up here recently. Well, I say recently; it's probably been a couple years back. That was just really. Um, amazing it had some really nice beautiful beautiful grain pattern this was some old black walnut wood that was growing locally it got diseased and we had to saw it down so I feel like it'd be a very nice touch you know black walnut is a very classy wood it's very punchy it's definitely a wood that um, has been used for hundreds and hundreds of years for drum building it's just it's very suitable it's stable and it's it pays the bills. I just think wanted to be a drum from the get go, from when we started playing in the wood to uh, cutting and angling, it went smooth. Here's some video of Darren behind the scenes sawing up some of these woods and how just really nice this shell came together. All right, so now we got it dry fitted, and um, what we're really checking for is just to make sure the angles. There's a formula that we use to. Uh, to tell us what the angle should be to cut them to make them uh, a perfect circle and we just want to make sure that the angles are right that they fit up snug and tight and that it uh it looks good and it, it does this one does man and once again just the the colors and the uh and that black walnut are just so neat and i think this is going to be a really really good looking drum so we're fishing to go get this one glued up and uh We'll be able to mill it tomorrow, and anyway, that's just, I mean, I think it's going to be really, really good, and I can just picture it now, if the, the tuning system, so it's got a pulley system where these wires come down, up, down, up, and with that dark contrast, it's going to have the chrome hardware, um, chrome hoop. All right, we just got through gluing and it, it glued up so nice. Um, almost perfect, no problems whatsoever at all. Um, it sealed up perfectly. And um, anyway, we'll let it sit overnight and, and dry. And then tomorrow, we'll be able to, to mill it. But it's like it went together like a glove. Like, it just was, it's perfect. I'm really, I'm getting super excited because I love when they do that, man. When they, uh, it's like this thing wanted to be a drum from the get go, from when we started playing in the wood to uh, cutting and angling, it went smooth. It, it, the dry fit was really easy, and then the glue, it glued up nice. And you love it when the duct tape holds, especially when it's cold. And uh, anyway, so I get really, really excited because I think it's going to be a super cool drum. And um, anyway, we'll keep the updates coming. And this will be the Welch tuning system, 14 by eight black walnut. It'll be easy to see why one of my favorite things to do is to mill the outside um, as you can see it really just like uncovers all the, the colors the uh, patterns the green um, and it gives you a really really good look at just what the wood is, is like and now I've done it enough where I know once we put the lacquer on this, sand it, we'll uh, sand it down with an orbital 
100 down to 220 and then we'll hand it 220 to probably 400 and um, when you spray it with the lacquer it really just is going to enrich everything that you see the dark colors will come a little darker the lighter will be brighter um, it just gets so just full and rich you know it'll just be just stunning you know what that lacquer will do and you can just already see the pieces with the light and the dark the streaks um, I love this part right here that'd probably be the badge right in here somewhere with that dark streak through it and just the uh, the colors in this is gonna be phenomenal and I, I just don't think we could find a, a much better shell or color pattern for the staved than this black walnut right here it's just naturally you know beautiful we don't have to do anything to it we just lay it out good, lacquer it, and uh, you know, Mother Nature took care of the rest. So uh, anyway, I think I'm really excited for to go mill the inside and um, see what we got there. Oh man, check out that sucker. Dang! Look at that grain, dude. I think black walnut is my favorite wood. This is beautiful. Yeah, especially these when it's got a different, it's got some light streaks, almost a reddish tint, dark. It's got a little bit of all the spectrum. And then you know that the lacquer is just an accident every, every bit of that. Yes. How classy is that going to be? 